All right, so I've had a lot of people ask me. Uh, here it is, a 2022 Hyundai Ionic 5. I don't know why Hyundai decided to put incandescence in this vehicle, it's ridiculous. But I swapped out the front turn signals right here with uh, LED bulbs as well as the rear, uh, the reverse lights and as well as the uh, vanity bulbs as well. She's dirty, don't, don't worry about that right now. Super easy to do, at least the fronts were really easy. So for the front, you can see right here, there are these little clips, okay? So turn the wheel. Uh, if you're doing, this is the passenger side. So if you're doing the passenger side, turn the wheel to the left. There's this one down here. There are two underneath. Do this one and this one. Do not need to take that screw out. And then literally just pull the fender back. And then the bulb, you can see, so that's where the bulb is. The bulb is literally right in here. You can, re you can reach in there and just literally, it's just a typical uh, bulb uh, inset where all you gotta do is just twist it, pull out, replace the bulb, put it back in, twist, and then you're done. Now for the rear. The rear is significantly harder. So I'm assuming the way Hyundai would probably have you do it is you would have to remove the back wheel here you would have to come under here. You would have to remove the rear mud flap. You would have to remove several bolts here and then you would also, and then eventually be able to pull this out. But you would also have to pull this trim out, this. So, I mean, I started to, it's really hard to get in here. So there's a couple screws here. There's a couple screws underneath. There's these screws right here, all the way up this trim right here. And then there's screws in here. There's this bolt right here. There's not a whole lot of room. And then on top of that, you have to do that. So what I did is if you look underneath, there's this little plastic piece right here. It runs the full length of the back, okay? And there's these little clips right here, the same little clips, all right? So the reverse light is right here. So if you look, it's directly above where this little piece of plastic is, okay? It's, it's only about this big right here, runs the full length of the car. Remove all these clips, okay? There's probably about 10 of them that go all the way across. When you remove this, you can crawl up underneath, you can stick your arm all the way up into here, and it's the same as the front where the bulb is. You just twist, pull, Take the bulb out, put the bulb back in, push back into the housing, push, twist, good to go. But it was way easier taking this out. Um, might wanna wear a long sleeve shirt because you might chew your arms up, but it was a lot easier with those clips than having to take the wheel off, having to take the mud flap off, having to take this trim piece off, having to take all this off and then pull it back. So I guess it really depends on how much you're willing to do. Now for the inside. So for the inside, um, pretty self-explanatory. You just take this right here. Um, I would use a plastic pry tool, but you just can literally take this out right here. The whole piece pops out and then there's a clip behind it. You just can remove this whole piece right here, pull the whole thing out, take the festoon out, uh, replace it with the LED. And then you can see here that is mega bright. Okay. I did that for both the vanities up here, as well as the trunk. There's the trunk. You can see that is crazy bright. The trunk is the same way where you can just pry this off with a pry tool. It's got a little clip on it. You just undo the clip, take the festoon out, put it back in. Easy peasy. So real quick, I'm gonna show the bulbs that you need to use. So these are the turn signal bulbs. These are the vanity festoon uh, bulbs as well as the trunk as well. And then these are the rear ones. Now I had a heck of a time trying to figure out uh, specifically which front and rear ones to go because you can look in the manual and it's not really specific. So for the front, 
I grabbed these Lays Fit. All right, these Lays Fits are amazing. I use these on my Veloster over here and they are great. Don't trip a CAN bus. It won't give you any error codes, nothing like that. Um, unfortunately, I don't show what they actually look like, but very high quality too. So the front turn signals are 1157A, okay? Those are the front ones. Uh, you can get these on Amazon. Uh, these are a little expensive, the Lays Fits. Uh, these are about 40 bucks, uh, 40, 50 bucks, depending on, um, you know, when you're getting them and uh, the actual type for the car. But I know specifically for the Ionic, these are about 50 bucks. Um, well worth it though. Uh, highly, highly recommend Lays Fit. Now, as far as the uh, vanities and the trunk, um, I got these ones right here. These are just typical festoons. Uh, however, I mistakenly got the 39 millimeters. You don't want the 39s, you want 31s. These are way too big, the 39s, you want the 31s. And you can see here, that is what the stock festoon bulbs are. That is the one that uh, I ordered. Significantly bigger than this right here. So do yourself a favor, just get 31 millimeters. Um, I was able to make these work with a little finagling, um, but it's not perfect. And if I could do it all over again, I would just make sure you get the 31 millimeter. Now for the reverse lights, again, had a heck of a time. I ended up having just to take the, uh, these are the stock bulbs, I had to take the actual bulbs, AutoZone, compare them because again, the manual wasn't really specific and nowhere online was really specific. So you want the 7506, uh, also fits 1156. So as long as it, I believe 1156 is the more popular one. Uh, so if it fits 1156 then you're good, specifically you need to make sure that it's got the single connectors down there at the bottom. I kept the ones I kept on ordering that everything said that fits this car. Uh, had dual connectors down here at the bottom. They're not the dual ones, it's the single ones. So make sure you get the correct ones again, uh, 1156. But that's what's going to fit this car. And then there's the LED bulb you can see, very, very bright. Um, I love these Lays Fit bulbs. They're great, they're fantastic. And like I said, they don't trip uh, any kind of error codes. Uh, it'll keep flashing like that, good to go. And I wanted to show you kind of what it looks like. So this is on my Veloster. You can see the, the bulb a little bit better, but you can see those bulbs are pretty big, um, but you don't have to worry about the size or them fitting in there, they'll fit in there. So again, this is on my Veloster and uh, they fit perfectly. So yeah, highly recommend uh, if you got any questions. Uh,